Hello everybody, Burnt Up Guy here and welcome back to the Chunk Map. Alright, so today we're going to go over a few little bit of water flow designs and which mobs you should use for which ones. Um, let me just grab another villager. Uh, I'll put him here. Alright, so we'll start off with uh, this one right here. This one's good pretty much well for all mobs. Uh, you can use it for like creepers, and you could use it for cows, and you could use it for villagers. And you're going to see that they go up all nice and neat. Um, but you can't make them too long, otherwise they will suffocate and they will take damage. For mobs like a creeper, or the villager, or... <laughs> you just pushed them right off, that's hilarious. Um, or, or, yeah, taller mobs, you know, like two block high mobs. Um, cows do not work in this system right here. And I'll show you why. Because when they go up, they get stuck in the air block. See, they're not tall enough to jump up into the next air section. Which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Oh, I got rid of that uh, potion. Oh no, it was right there. Am I blind or what? So anyways, yeah. Um, this one's not very good for uh, cows. Or sheep. Or anything like that. You have to pretty much all go with uh, a tall mob. So, that's how that one works. And this one here, do remember that every block has to be a source block. It can't just put a piece of water on top and flow it down. It, the mobs will not go up it. Not whatsoever. So each one has to be a source block. And then we got this one here. This is for a slight vertical incline. It's done similar to this one over here. And I'll show you how to do this one. Uh, except you're going kind of uphill a little bit, so um, this one will work with people, it'll work with cows, and uh, uh, seriously, you're going to spawn me all big guys, there, <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious, I can't believe that. Are you not going to spawn me just a little tiny baby one? Just to prove that a little tiny baby one will do it. Oh my god. You guys suck. Alright. And then... <laughs> it works with, you know, fr friendly and unfriendly mobs. You see that they flew up quite nicely. Yeah. That's that. Then we got the slime farm one. Um, and this one is probably one of the most interesting ones to do. Alright, so when you have your source blocks here, and you got one side flowing, and you want to start working on the other side, um, especially corners, I find, you know, they could be the most difficult ones. So, your corners, you'll take out three like this. Um, I've seen videos where people take out like five. It's it's not necessary, not whatsoever. As long as you have those three blocks, the source where you're going to put your new source block, the water that's underneath the signs, and the one that's right before the signs. That's really that's really the most necessary part. And then, oh okay, oops, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Apparently, water doesn't like flowing like that. Alright, so we'll do that again. There we go. So, that's how you get around your corner. And make sure you only put one source block instead of opposed to two. Because when your mobs come around the corner... Hey, you're not going to let me go. Right, when your mobs come around the corner, 
they might get stuck, especially a big fat slime. Like if they get right here. See, I go around not bad, but big fat slimes get stuck there, and I don't like that. So that's one of the things I did was I put that over there. So it was kind of a bad example considering I wasn't getting stuck now, was I? I bet you if I spawned a big fat slime, it wouldn't work. <laughs> and then, just like I said, just make sure you always take out the three. That's all that's important. Is that you have your half slabs at the beginning, your signs right behind it, and then the water pushing to the signs and underneath the signs. And then you can continue with putting a source block on each side here like this. And then you could just go wherever you gotta go with it. So that's pretty much all the mob water flow systems. Um, figured I just want to show that, add some new different content to my channel. Trying to go over all the basics with people and uh, just for some people that might be new to Minecraft, which, you know, it does happen because I was new to Minecraft not long ago. And, uh, you know, I had to go through and learn all this stuff. So I figured if I just kind of compile all kinds of information and leave it on my site, maybe people might find it useful. So anyways, these are how to make a mob water flow system. So that's it, everybody. Peace. Take care. Hope you enjoyed.